Sugar Dark April. So today's video is going to be something really informative. You guys have been on a journey with me throughout my YouTube time and I wanted to share this with you guys. So about six, seven months ago, um, about seven months ago, I was getting treatment for my scar. Um, I've had this for a long time and unfortunately it just grows and grows and a lot of times it does hurt or it itches and a lot of people have asked me which makes me really self-conscious of what is that? What's on your chest? You know, does that hurt? How did you get that? Even from people that see me in public sometimes and they're just staring so having this really makes me feel really really in, um, uncomfortable and very like self-conscious and then there are a lot of nights when I would wake up and it would just hurt or would just feel really tight so over the past year I was going to get um, injections for my keloids there's several ways that you can remove these so they say and when I did share this information with everyone on YouTube a lot of people in my comments were saying how they've had the surgery like to have it removed and it's grown back they've had laser surgery and it's grown back they've had the injections like me and it's grown back but I just really really wanted to give it a try so when I was going to get these treatments it was getting flat but it was hurting you know it, it would hurt and I did receive an email not once not twice but three times from this young lady you know she basically was just saying you know I don't mean to be intrusive but I did notice the scar you have on your chest and she tried to tell me about a product that she had that made the keloids go away I totally ignored her email all three times I ignore her email because I don't really want to use something that you done made up like for real on top of that I didn't want anything interfering with my you know my injections or my treatments. so I left it alone and I went for my treatments and it got really really flat to the point where I felt so good I didn't feel subconscious and I just felt really good in my own skin finally you know what I'm saying like do you know what it feels like to be comfortable in your own skin so anyway I just noticed a couple of months ago like a month ago not even a couple but like a month ago that it started coming back it got bigger this was bigger why the girl email me again about the product so I spoke with her and she's from Canada at this time I was not even apprehensive I was like you know what I'm gonna just give it a shot I've seen the before and after pictures now y'all know for one I am not one for the before and afters they looked official but girl I don't know if you did that or not you know what I'm saying so when we spoke on the phone you know I asked her about this product because I'm not about to put nothing on myself and it's gonna make matters worse so basically she suffers from keloids too and she has went through all other type of treatments and everything to try to get rid of them and nothing helped her. She was in Africa vacationing and just looking up research. She found a doctor who basically promised to get rid of these keloids just with you know natural ingredients. Not overnight but with, within due time and her keloids have never come back. Now, so when she told me this, I was like, okay, girl, okay, I'm on the other end, like, all right, girl. She showed me some before and after pictures. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, girl, right. Okay. So I agreed to try the product because I'm like, what can get worse? It's already coming back. So, I mean, like, listen, let's, let's just give it a try. I really do want to get rid of this. Um, I hate the fact that it's grown back and I hate the fact that people are going to probably start asking me again. And I just really don't like to feel uncomfortable. So anyway, she did send me a sample sign. Now, y'all know what I feel about samples, okay? So her samples are actually, like, to me, these are, like, full-size products because this is a nice-size bottle, and this is a nice-size tin, especially for my scar. But this is the sample, and it's a two-step process. This is a product that will help your keloid, and it says to get rid of it forever, okay? So when she sent me these, I've been using this for, like, five days. Now, last week when I started using this which was on Saturday it was a lot more raised than this so it was a lot more raised than this okay um, now this one you do have to keep in the refrigerator it is a gel and you do need to keep this refrigerated but this one you just need to keep in a cool dry area so how this works is it also comes with this which is the instructions it's just plain simple layman's term there's nothing you can really do and go wrong with this if you do, then, I mean, hello. So you do need to use a Q-tip with this because you definitely do not want to apply this with your fingertips. When you apply this product, you need to do it twice a day and you need to make sure that you have already washed because you don't want to get any type of water or soap or lotions or anything. So make sure that you've already lathered up and you've already applied your lotion. And try not to put the lotion in the area where you're going to apply this product. It will make you 
it will make your keloid itch. And a keloid is a scar that um, basically grows outside of the actual scar boundaries, meaning this was an actual pimple about 17 years ago. I didn't pop it, it didn't get infected, but this is how my skin heals and it just spread and spread and spread and keloids do not stop growing a lot of people get keloids mixed up with hypertrophic scars and the hypertrophic scar looks identical to a keloid however the hypertrophic scar does not grow okay it will not go past the scar boundaries however the first thing you want to do is um use this with a q-tip you want to let it dry so you want to take your q-tip dip it in the liquid And once this dries, you will see a white, crusty or flaky film. Okay, you don't want to remove that. You don't want to wash it off. You just want to leave it alone. Once it's dry and you want to apply the gel. It has been um, five days of usage of this. And five days ago, this keloid was, was more raised. This is the bad side right here where I'm pointing to. And I don't want to touch it because it has stuff on it. And you can see it's turning like that flaky white this side is always more raised and this is where it started out at the pimple started here and then it just spread so this was more raised last week and um, once I started using this product it has been going down okay so this product is supposed to get rid of your keloid forever so the name of the product is called Keylade. all right and this is just a sample product now i do believe that this is probably going to last me and this is probably going to be enough for my scar due to the fact that it's already working so now i'm going to take this which is the gel you want to make sure that once you open this it's refrigerated this has to be refrigerated at all times both products do expire within a year after they have been opened. I'm just going to use some of the gel that's in the cap. And you just want to rub that into your keloid. But this product will make you feel a little bit more tingling. Um, I did notice that at night when I was going to sleep, it started to tingle and itch more in the evening for me when I was laying down. And I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, it took all hell for me not to scratch the other night. Like, I kind of lost some sleep because I kept feeling it tingling in my sleep. And sometimes it can get it really, really painful. So it does tingle and it does itch and you are advised to highly do not scratch a keloid ever okay so you will experience some tingling you will experience that but just whatever you do do not scratch it okay i will share my progress with you guys i'm not really sure how long it's going to take to totally flatten and vanish you know what i'm saying there will always be like a scar but it will also get flatter with consistency and using it twice a day i have seen results um within five days so i'm really happy about that so this is like a new journey you guys like you know everybody has flaws nobody is perfect but you know i just try to fix the things that make me feel un you know self-conscious and uncomfortable this is for me and i want to be able to share this with you guys for those who have keloid skin i'm happy so far you know and i'll just give my honest review and my honest opinions about you know the product thank you everyone and I will see you guys in a soon to come video.